Hi, I'm Glenn Watkins with ETS Lindgren. We're at the Acoustic Research Labs today, and we're going to be talking to Brian Stanky, who is our lab engineer, and a little later, Mike Black, who's our lab technical director. But first, I'd like to start with you, Brian, and ask, mm -hmm. why do we test windows? Well, we test windows or do fenestration testing, primarily for manufacturers to be able to reduce their cost on windows by finding the components that meet their performance the best and for designers and architects to be able to find windows that make the best noise reduction for their clients' buildings. Okay. Ah, I see Mike Black down there at the other end of the laboratory. Mike, can you come up and talk to us? Mike, can you tell us a little bit about this lab? Oh, sure, Glenn, I'd be glad to. This is a relatively new facility. We have two large reverberation rooms, one of which is 408 cubic meters. That's mm. our, what we call our receiving room and we have another one which we're standing beside called our source room. And this is what makes the sound that we make sure puts uh, over the face of whatever we're testing, in this case, a window test. So this is something that meets all the requirements of the latest standards, and we're very proud to be testing in them. Well, great, it looks like a nice facility. Um, Mike, can you show us a test in progress? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we just happen to have a window that Brian's over here right outside the chamber with. He'd be glad to show it to us. So for the window under test, we have a 3050 window frame, single hung right now, put around the outside for isolation so that we're testing just the window. Then we have several different frames for isolation and the window testing buck itself. This allows us to test windows in close sequence we're able to get them in and out very quickly and allow us to test multiple things. I'm going to put it inside the chamber now. So the test begins with the window loaded into the buck. The buck is then placed in between the two chambers. Sound is started inside the source chamber, then transmitted into the receive chamber. The difference there is what we use to measure the transmission loss of the window which is then translated into a sound transmission class, STC, for the window itself. So now that the window is in place and we're ready to test, we're able to turn on the noise generation, and on the screen we can see the noise created in the source room and what gets to the receive room through the window. The difference is what the window is actually able to isolate. From there, we're able to run through our ASCM E90 testing procedure and able to see what the window results finally are. Okay, now Brian's going to walk over the window so he can open the window so you can hear how much noise we're putting in on the source side and how much is coming through to the receive side. So the displays that Brian showed you just a minute ago ends up resulting in when we combine all the data to this type of result. This result is for the actual window that we showed you putting in just a little while ago and this shows the results from 50 hertz to 10,000 hertz. This is done in real time so our clients who are here witnessing the test or participating in the test program, which we encourage by the way can see how their, how their windows or other fenestration products are doing. At the end of that, then we provide an accredited report that has the NAVLAP logo on it that meets all the requirements of the testing standards. It's a five-page report that includes this graph and a table of all the results. Well, Brian and Mike, thank you very much for walking us through the test. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website or email us.